Oh yeah, look at that power. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over a fully loaded Chevy Silverado Trail Boss. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Chevy here in Provo for giving me some time with the Trail Boss. Check out the intro in the description down below. And by the way, this one is available for sale if you're interested. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 6.2 liter V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 14 around town and then 18 on the highway with power outputs being 420 horsepower and then 460 pound feet of torque. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, notice you got this bulge here in the center and then you got the 6.2 L badge that's all blacked out. And then popping down below, this Trail Boss has literally everything blacked out. So you can see the Chevy bow tie, the grill has all been blacked out, the Z71 badge, which is hiding right there. You got the fog lights at the bottom. Notice the tow hook's also blacked out. They're normally red on the Trail Boss, but not with this package. And then you guys can see with the daytime running light and the headlights, super bright. And putting it all together, this truck all blacked out looks so cool. Coming around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 265, 60, 20 in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see with the wheel, it's all blacked out. And I love the spoke design. It definitely has an aggressive appearance to it. Now with the Trail Boss, you do get a two inch suspension lift from the factory. And then you guys can see just how aggressive these all-terrain tires are. And by the way, if 20s aren't your thing, you can also get 18s with the Trail Boss. Blacked out Z71 badge here. And then you guys can see with the mirror caps and the window trim also all blacked out. Leaf springs here in the back with the truck. And then you guys can see the Rancho shock there in the back as well. And then putting it all together, this truck looks so cool. And I like the darker Trail Boss logo there on the back. I think that also kind of adds to the flair. So here's our key fob. You guys can see we've got our unlock function, our lock function, remote start, and then the tailgate drop down. Let's press that a couple times and boom. Popping into the bed, we have a payload capacity of 1,621 pounds. And then you guys can see, well, we got the multi-pro. We'll go over that in just a moment. But we got LED lights. You notice we got the grab handle to help out with getting in. And then we have a full power outlet here on the other side. Chevy bow tie in the center and everything's all protected. Now with the multi-pro, I can press this button right here and it'll release. And then you can pull that down and notice it turns into a whole step system. And then when you're all done, just fold this up first. And then the best thing to do is just pick it up from the bottom and then lift up the whole tailgate in one motion. Here's a closer look at that Trail Boss sticker. And then you guys can see we've got the LED taillights here. And then you'll notice that all the badges here on the back are all blacked out. And then you can see we've got the bumper steps, got the squished exhaust tips. Towing capacity is 9,200 pounds. And then something I forgot to mention when I went over the front is ground clearance with this truck is just over, or sorry, just under 11 inches rather. Now with the door panel in the rear, you guys will notice we got this really nice wood trim here. And then look at the double stack design with all of the stitching. And then you guys can see our window control as well. And then tons of storage at the bottom of the door panel. Really nice leather seats here. And you can see we've got the behind the seat storage as well. And really nice padding overall. And then just underneath, we got even more storage on top of that. And then popping in the truck, you guys can see legroom solid. We've got a little storage pocket here. Got a couple cup holders. And then we got all of our USBs and some vents. And then headroom's also great back here. And yes, it does come with a cup holder armrest. Now with the front door panel, you can see really nice wood trim again, and then look at like the stitching and everything with that double stack design. All of our window controls, front one is automatic. We got our mirror adjustments as well. Speaker for the Bose sound system, and then blind spot monitoring in the mirror. Now again with the front seat, notice leather, and it doesn't have any perforations, so it's easier to clean. And like I said, padding, and it is nice. And then you do have your power adjustments on the side and then notice Z71 on the floor mat. We've got our parking brake right here and then you can see with our drive line select, we have our auto four wheel high, two wheel high and then four wheel low with our drive mode select. And then you've got your trailer tow mode. And then you can see we've got our light control on top of that and then steering wheel is manually adjustable. So with the steering wheel, we've got really nice padding all around. Radio controls here on the back, and then you guys can see paddle shifters for the 10-speed automatic. We also have controls for the center stack, your voice command controls, heated steering wheel button, which is pretty cool, and then your cruise control on top of that. And then we have our turn signal windshield wiper stock. Full digital gauge cluster here with the Trail Boss, which looks fantastic. You can scroll through some menus to see different bits of info on truck and then systems within the truck as well. But the cool thing is that little Trail Boss icon. So notice it lets you know if you're in two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, whatever. But tow haul mode, 
shows the trail boss towing a trailer. And then we have our off-road mode as well, which shows the trail boss off-roading. Now in reverse, we do have this cool 360 camera system with this trail boss because this one's like fully decked out. And so you can see out of every single angle with the truck, which is fantastic. And then going from that to the Rassi infotainment system, we have a shortcut bar here on the side with the screen itself, response time's fantastic. We have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay built in. And then you guys can see the auxiliary tabs there off to the side as well. We've got a little home screen button here with our volume control. And then notice we got our lane departure, parking sensors, auto stop, start, tailgate drop down, hazard lights, stability control, hill descent control. And then we have our window drop down button. Now you notice this is an off-road truck without a rear locking differential button. That's because it has the G80 system, it's automatic. So you don't press a button to lock the rear end, the rear end locks itself when it thinks it should. We've got our trailer brake controls right here. And then you can see right next to that, we've got our dual zone climate controls, heated seats. So notice the whole seat or just the back of the seat, which is pretty cool. And then some USBs right next to that. And then we got a bunch of keys, just kidding, well, not kidding, but also we have storage space right there. You've got some cup holders here. And then you can see the shifter for that 10 speed automatic. So it's the same shifter as like in the new ZR2, for example. And then look at the center console, really nice padding here. Got a wireless phone charging pad there with some USB action. And you know, overall it's got good storage. Really nice padding here on the dash. You can see the stitching that goes across. And then notice top glove box. And then down below, we got our butt arm glove box as well. And then I really like the wood trim that goes across here too. I think that looks great. And then up top here, this one has just a manual mirror dimmer. Power setting rear window, which is pretty cool. And then we also have a sunroof as well. And then just a darker colored headliner. Now here is the window sticker. You guys can see we've got a five year, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty. And then with the bumper to bumper, it's like three year, 36,000 miles, something like that. Um, but anyways, base MSRP, $58,000. And this is far from base. This has the premium package. It also happens to have a bunch of other options on top of the 6.2 V8, which is like 3,800 bucks. Anyways, after options on this truck, $71,030 is the total MSRP. That is correct, folks. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood, both the mirrors, shoot blind spot monitoring, and then throw the rest of the rear. And let's set off here in the Trail Boss. I'm um, saying a quick mention, I'm using this video for my Trail Boss review of the driving portion, and then also for my ZR2 um, comparison. Just on a little bit of a time crunch today, I had a crazy uh, long lunch meeting, so <laughs> don't have as much time to film reviews as I normally do. Um, but anyway, setting off in the Trail Boss, let's just kind of talk about how this truck uh, drives. Um, so first off, the thing with the Silverados is they definitely have like a larger truck feel like this, especially like the hood being so high, it feels like just big. Good thing it has a 360 camera system though to help out with being able to see in the front of the truck with such a large hood. Um, but when it comes to how it actually like drives on the road, it's, it's pretty smooth, it's comfortable. Um, so it's great from that uh, perspective. And um, something else to note is pretty quiet as well. It actually is in four wheel drive auto. I don't know why. Pop it into two wheel drive. It's on the fly with that, so that's pretty good. Punchy out of this 6.2, that's for sure. I like how there's actually like a trail boss icon there. Looks so cool seeing the truck. But that one obviously has red tow hooks, whereas this having the blacked out package has the darker colored tow hooks. And yeah, I mean, on road, it's, it's a very comfortable truck. Um, what I would say though, is if you want slightly better ride quality than um, this one, because this one has the 20s, uh, get one with the 18 inch wheels and a little bit more sidewall will definitely make it feel a bit more comfortable for you. Oh yeah, look at that power. <laughs> this thing moves, this thing moves. Gotta love that 6.2 V8, it gets up and it sounds good too. Um, so summing things up quickly here with this trail boss. I love how this looks with the all blacked out package. I think that is fantastic. I think that it drives really well. It's smooth. It's comfortable. Um, but something to note is this definitely feels more like a truck, if that makes sense. Like if you drive the new uh, Ford F-150, that feels more car-like. This, this definitely feels more truck-like. So if you want more of like a truck type feel, and if you want more of like a truck type four-wheel drive system as well, uh, this also kind of feels more old school with that. Um, so yeah, kind of, kind of an interesting uh, thing, but definitely like the trail boss. I like how it drives. And, um, I also like how these off-road, I haven't taken a trail boss off-road per se, but I have taken an AT4 off-road and an AT4X, which, you know, sibling vehicles. And I can tell you they perform uh, really well. 
That's gonna sum things up with our video on this Silverado Trail Boss. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Chevy here in Provo for giving me some time with this truck. Check out their inventory in the description down below. I'll see ya.